Hello all, welcome to Random Art with Karen, and I'm gonna be creating a card today. I'll be using stamps that I purchased from Craft Golly. I'm gonna put their link below so that you get to see all of the goodness that they have. They have our favorite stamp companies. Today I'll be using Paper Smooches and Pink Fresh, but you're also gonna find Altenew, Lawn Fawn, Hero Arts, Newton's Nook, uh, some others that I can't recall <laughs> right now. But definitely click the link because you'll also find some stamping accessories and their shipping is very affordable. And of course, the companies here, you know their quality. All right, so these, these are the two sets I'm using today. If you saw my last video, I used these same two sets. I like to call these sets, I like to say that they have that versatility vibe because anytime you need thank you, get well, anniversary, birthday, thinking of you, just a note, these are going to be your go-tos. I'm going to start out by going ahead and die cutting my pieces. As you can see, I've got some white cardstock. I'm using the oval die here, which I'll be matting on the scalloped in this beautiful berry color. And then I've got these little stitched rectangle dies, and they nest within each other. That pink checkered paper, it's double-sided, and I love both sides. <laughs> so I decided, well, let me just nestle in. Instead of doing a layering, I'm going to nestle it in so that I'm able to use both sides and not waste any. I hope the camera's not shaking too much as I'm running this through my die cutting machine. Yeah, once you see this layout and the stamps, uh, how I use them, you might wanna make up several and then just wait on putting a sentiment so then when you do have those times and you're like, oh, uh, I need a card, you can just grab it and then stamp your sentiment and you're good. So I use washi tape uh, to secure so that they don't slide. And the beauty with washi tape, it doesn't damage my cardstock. There's my little oval I'm gonna mat on. Yeah, I love I love uh, checks. I love ginghams. They're just happy. It's happy paper. All right. So I'm going to use this beautiful floral, the center part of it, and then that gingham is going to be the outside of my card. That stitching just gives a little extra, a little extra something something. So this is my plan. And I'm gonna put that on some white cardstock. When I'm wanting to get a large surface and everything flat, can you tell I've been stamping? <laughs> everything flat, I will use a spray adhesive. So I'm going to go over here to the side where I have a well-ventilated area that's protected because the spray adhesive will go a little bit of everywhere. So if you are going to use that, again, make sure that uh, the surface is protected and you're near a window or outside. So I have my spray adhesive. On these spray adhesives, you do have a minute or two to do some manipulation if you need to. Try not to adhere yourself <laughs> to it. <laughs> or cat hair. Yeah, frequently you will see cat hair embellishments on some of my projects. And I'm going to just snuggle that in there.
Okay, I think I got that how I like it. I believe it's going to stay good. I'm going to trim a little bit around the outside. I love layering. If you ever see some of my cards, overall I'm, I'm a clean and simple card maker, but then I also love uh, layering, giving nice framework. That's the beauty of these double-sided pattern papers uh, is that they complement each other and so are perfect if you do like to do the layering. Get this one side cut. Okay. So there you go. And yes, it looks like I'd hear. There we go. <laughs> That's what I say. And yes, it looks like I have a cat hair. All right. So let's uh, work on our sentiment. And again, I'm using this uh, Fleur 2 from the Pink Fresh set. And what's keen is you can manipulate this stem, and so you can make it straight if you want to. I decided to give it a little bit of a curve. And I'm gonna use some black ink. And these stamps stamp beautifully, so if it doesn't come out good, it's because I didn't get enough ink or it was my application. So, I should have enough ink. Go straight down on a firm, flat surface. I give a little press here in the center as well. Straight back up, and there you got that. And then I'm gonna use my sentiment from the Paper Smooches Faith Sampler set. And I'm going to go, I'd already pulled those little stamps off by the way, I'll go with this, get it straight on my acrylic block, as you can tell my acrylic, actually you can tell that all of my stamping supplies are well loved. <laughs> And the reason I did that little curve there is because I wanted to kind of snuggle my sentiment in there. So go straight down, straight back up. Get my other word. Ink up. Straight down. Pressure straight up and then ink my last word. Straight down, maybe a little touch in the center, straight back up, and I'm pretty darn happy with that pretty darn. <laughs> I do want to add a little bit of color. Uh, so this is a Copic marker RV17. It's a deep magenta, magenta which uh, will complement the colors that I have going in my pattern paper. And if you, of course you could use colored pencils. If you do use alcohol markers, you know that you do have to use a particular type of cardstock and ink, otherwise you won't have the blendability options if you don't use the right cardstock. And if you don't use the right ink uh, to stamp with, it's just gonna smear. And uh, that would not be attractive <laughs> at all. Okay. So it got me a little color going here, a little magenta. So that's what I'm going to then layer on my little scalloped that I die cut. So 
I'll need to get my adhesive. I bet you my camera's shaking because I'm rolling around in my chair. All right. I use like this little white liner, double-sided. I think it's a good, affordable. And I've used it on a real delicate type projects and uh, it doesn't tear it like if you're using a tape runner sometimes it will this won't do that okay. so I have that now let me get my card and then we have this here that we already die cut and mounted so I just need to get my adhesive You know, never underestimate uh, the power that your handmade cards have on people. You know, it could be just a little something that the that the recipient needed that day. Um, this faith sampler from Paper Smooches, it has some beautiful words that you can kind of create your own phrases with. If you know somebody that's having a hard time, they're struggling, and just maybe need some encouragement or just need somebody to tell them, you know, you're not alone. Um, you know, just for that brief moment when they've opened your card, um, it, it might bring a smile or just, you know, just a little highlight of their day. So that's why I say never underestimate the power of, uh, of your handmade cards. I know some people think that uh, there are those that don't appreciate, and they may not, but then think of those that you do bless uh, with your handmade cards. And now I just need to add this. Of course you would put something on the inside, you know, a nice little note. Um, I'm sorry about what you're going through. Um, I'm praying for you. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. God is on your side. You can't have a testimony without a test. <laughs> All right, and I'll just put that there. And I like the way it came out. I hope you do. If you do like it, if you did like my video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you hit those links below, good people. Let me tell you, Craft Golly has your stamp supplies. Also join the blog and the Facebook. There are some very talented designers out there. You're going to get tons of inspiration. So thank you, as always, for checking in with me today. Let's do the wave. Bye. I look forward to card making with you next time.